Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hello, family. Pastor Allah Lu from Christian Pentecostal Church here, and today I want to talk, share about the river of life. Um, we're reading from uh, Revelation twenty-two seventeen, and also from John chapter four, verse thirteen to fourteen. So, in Revelation twenty-two seventeen, it says, "And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come." And let him that hear it say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whatsoever will and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. In the early portion of the chapter, we see that it talks about the river of life that flows in the city of God. And we look at John 4, 13 to 14, which says, Jesus answered and said to her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So the thing is, we are, it's like, as I think about when Jesus was talking to the Samaritan woman and um, he asked her to give him a drink. And, you know, <clears throat> she says, basically like, if you knew who you were talking to, like rather, why are you asking me to give you a drink? You know, I'm a Samaritan, and besides, you don't have a cup. You know, how are you gonna drink? How are you gonna draw anything? Why are you sitting at the well? You know, and Jesus says, so if you knew who asked you for water, instead you would ask him for water, and he would give you that everlasting water. And you know, that's that's what we see in Revelation, that everlasting water. And what is that? That in itself is salvation. But you know, the thing is, as I think about, you know, as I'm sitting here, there's an excitement that's bubbling up and that is from that river of life. You know, it, Jesus says, you will never thirst again. In Revelation, you'll see that, you know, as you drink, and Jesus says, actually, in Revelation, you see it, it says, as you drink, you can drink freely. But Jesus says, as you drink, you know, it will bubble up into everlasting life. That is that thirst for God. That thirst for God that is within us, that eternity that's placed within us that's been quenched because we know the living God. We know the truth. And, you know, yeah, will we have questions? There will be things we don't understand? Absolutely. But there is one question that will be satiated. And that is, I know who I am. I know whose I am. And I know where I'm going. Right? That's three questions, right? But all wrapped up into one. I know who I am. I am a child of the living God. I know whose I am. I belong to the living God. And I know where I'm going. I'm going home to my father and to my savior. What better than that in this life? There is an assurance. And that's why it's like you won't thirst again. You won't worry about that. Things. You won't be too concerned because when we have that truth and we grasp onto it dearly and we hold on to it, then Jesus said, you know, your father in heaven knows what you need. He knows exactly what you need. Our Savior knows our every concern. He knows our every temptation. He knows our every problem because he was tempted in every way. He lived as we lived. He walked where we walked. He talked as we talked. So there's no such thing as I don't understand. No, he understands. And he has provided exactly what we need in this life. That living water. And that living water doesn't just, it starts with salvation, but also in comparison to his word. The spirit that lives within us. All those things encompassed together to keep us and to guide us towards heaven, to guide us in his will and his path. So be encouraged, brethren. God is for us. So who can be against us? Huh? You know, there is no, I, he's got me. He's got you. He understands. I do not thirst. That living water, I have tasted it. And I won't thirst again. And it reminds me of Sunday in church. We were singing that song. It said, just one drink. 
just one drink and my soul is satisfied. And that's where I stand. And my prayer is that that's where you stand as well. Know who you are, know whose you are, and know where you're going. All those things. And now know what he has said. Grow in his word and your confidence in him. God bless you. Thank you.